What's up, everybody? We are back with another sweet and technical analysis, and we've got arguably the greatest female discus thrower of all time, Sandra Perkovich, two-time Olympic champ. I want to th- say three or four-time world champion. I think she's won the European title five or six times, something crazy. So a lot of people ask about her because she does have a, a bit of a different approach in the middle, but I, I want to point out some real key aspects, but let's watch this throw. She's thrown 71 meters, and I, this might even be the 71-meter throw. Yeah, I think this one is. So let's watch this again. So I like to think about the women's disc is slightly differently from the men's, and I think because mainly because it's a little bit, it's a little almost too light, and women also have tend to have much more shoulder mobility. And we saw this in the analysis of Dania Caballero. Um, So some of the key things here is that look at how long Perkovich stays in that double support position out of the back here. Okay, so she's way – she's almost at – so I would call this like a 180 with the left toe facing this way. She's way past that. And she's still grounded. So that leads to that super wide right leg that's very, very long, right? And what's interesting is she almost falls in with her chest here, but her chest is still up that right sector here. So then she's got that dorsiflex right, right here, that comes down, boom. And what's interesting with her is when it cuts, she almost hides her head with that left arm. I don't know if this is just like a natural knack that she had early on um, and no one ever changed it. I wouldn't coach it, but I also very likely wouldn't change it because I think it helps her um, get that left side moving even quicker as she comes off. And because that left knee was so open out of the back, it helps that left really come down quickly. Um, And I also do believe that there's a more pronounced need for a high point with the discus in the women's discus than in the men's. I think a lot of men do throw a little bit flatter um, throughout the middle of the throw, whereas women, if they lift right here with that right hand, they tend it, it tends to help them quite a bit, get a little bit more feeling. So I actually do like that quite a bit with her. You know, that right leg's grounded, and if you see, it's sort of like almost everything's completely, let's do this, almost everything's completely over top of that right foot. It's that right hip, right quad, uh, right knee, uh, right shoulder, trunk, all align, and she sort of just rotates around. And if we go back here, it's like she does the same thing out of the back where everything sort of comes around there and everything comes around the middle here. And then when that left grounds, so that's where the left is grounding. Like I mean, even right here, look at how deep that discus is right here. And this is the point that we need to, uh, that all beginners need to focus on is what's she doing with that right knee? It's not extended. And she's got that nice right heel that's high. So it's having that very flexed right knee, flexed right ankle. Left gets flat. And if you see when her left gets flat, it's like she just digs that right quad forward even more. She rotates that right knee. And you can see there's still right knee flexion. She's rotating that right heel out. This is something that's very difficult. Right heel out. She sets up and holds that flat left, and everything comes around. I think that's one of the biggest keys here is that we've just got to think about with the women's discus. I do think more women can non-reverse than than men, but I also think they've got to think a little bit higher right side in the middle, lower left foot, as you can see with her, lower left foot below the left knee. Hold that left flat and keep rotating the hell out of that right side.